Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks. Can you answer this trivia question? Why is Valentine's Day celebrated on February 14th? Well, you get the answer to that question to be challenged by many more as your favorite soap opera stars join us for a special Valentine week on Trivia Trap. <laughs> Welcome to the fascinating world of trivia. The stars of One Life to Live are ready. Playing for One Life to Live are Roy Finnis, Shelley Burks, and Michael Storm. The stars of General Hospital are set. Playing for General Hospital are Stuart Damon. Emma Sands and Brian Patrick Clark. And here's the host of Trivia Trap, Bob Eubanks. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. And welcome to a very special edition of Trivia Trap. This is our Valentine edition. And we have a terrific group of soap opera stars with us today who will be all with us all week to try to earn money for their favorite charities. And what a job they've done so far. General Hospital, they've won over $38,000 for their charity. Happy Valentine's Day to you. And they really want to win today. They really want to win. Our friends from One Life to Live are the team with us. You ready? Okay. Now, we're going to start off with our fact or fiction round. I'm going to give each one of the contestants a trivia statement. What you must do you now is tell me whether it's true or false. Every correct answer is worth $25 for your team. And who won the toss of the coin before the show? General Hospital won the toss of the coin. And because this is Valentine's Day, all the questions in this fact or fiction round will deal with love and romance. What do you think about I that? I just love in romance. That. So you guys tell me. Will it be the red or black set? It has to be the red. It has, it has to, to be, be red, red. Yeah. On Valentine's Day, leave black. the black set then for right. one life to live. Brian, first question goes to you. Yes. We've got two sets of questions, and this is your first set. Jack Benny made an award-winning album called Music for Lovers Only. True or false? True. No, it's false. Ah. Jackie Gleason did that. Emma, Elizabeth Taylor said she'll marry Dennis Stein because he looks like her father and acts like her mother. True. No, that's false. Ah. However, I will tell you that Anne Bancroft married Mel Brooks. When she married Mel Brooks, she said that. That's where like I heard it. I knew Stuart. I heard it somewhere. <laughs> Stuart, here it is. In the lover's play, Romeo and Juliet, Juliet kills herself by taking poison. It's true. No. She stabs herself. She stabs herself as well. She yes. wasn't sure. <laughs> it didn't work, so she took poison afterwards. She really she? wanted to kill herself. I understand what you're saying. I, I happen to agree with you, Stuart, by the way. Okay. Let's go. One life to live. Come on now, you guys. Ready. Michael, here's yep. yours. <laughs> Valentine's Day is celebrated on February 14th because <laughs> that was the day in which St. Valentine was killed. True. Yes, you're right. True. I'm right? Yes. Hey, can we go now? You're leading the game right now. Hey, Shelly. Let's go for the big money. <laughs> Valentine's Day became a legal holiday in the United States in 1957. Uh, false. Yes, it is false. You're right. Good for you. Yeah. Valentine's Day is not a legal holiday. I know that. I know you know it. I can tell. We do. Roy, make it three out of three. The sweet words, how do I love thee, let me count the ways, comes from Shakespeare. How do I love thee, let me count the ways. True or false? I love thee from... True. No, it's false. <laughs> Elizabeth Barrett Browning, Sonnets from the Portuguese. How do I love thee? That's all right. You got two out of three, right? Not so bad at all. You've got $50. <laughs> and once again, here we go with another set of questions. This time, one life to live. You tell me, red or black set of questions? I'm not. Uh, red. red. Go over the red. All right. Black set then goes to General Hospital. <laughs> Lucky for you, so. <laughs> Roy, the Greek goddess of love is Aphrodite. False. No, it's true. Oh, it's true. That's true. It's okay. Shelly. Yes. Romantic Liz Taylor has been married more times than Mickey Rooney. Uh, false. That's false. You're right. <laughs> Mickey Rooney's been married eight times. Elizabeth Taylor's been married seven times. Michael. Love goddess Marilyn Monroe's first husband was Joe DiMaggio. First husband was... Yes. Joe DiMaggio. Uh, true. Nope. False. Ah, false. 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 <laughs> Jim, Jim Dougherty was her first husband. That's okay. You've got $75. Italian, right? Let's go over to General Hospital. Time to do some catching up. Stuart, yeah. okay. here's your question. Even though Valentine's Day was celebrated for hundreds of years, the first Valentine's Day greeting card was not printed until World War I. I will say that's true. No, it's false. Ah. Yes. 
It, the first one was printed in the 1840s. How can you possibly have a piece of information like that at your fingertips? I write these discourse. questions myself after many hours of research. <laughs> Emma, the great screen lover Rudolph Valentino died in 1926 on Valentine's Day. True. No, it's false. <laughs> That's false. Would have been Brian! It's been such it a lovely been story. <laughs> yes. I know, it would have really been romantic, wouldn't it? You're yeah. doing fine, though. Here we go. We are. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Bob. Brian, Sorry. the only president to be married in the White House was Grover Cleveland. False. No, it's true. We're due it's for a truth. Yeah. So there we have it, the end of our fact of fiction We're shooting blanks, in other words. With love as the subject, General Hospital has zilch. One life to live, $75. That gives you the advantage in our trivia trap round. Which we will play when we come back right after these years. Love Family Feud? Love Plinko? Hate the whammy? Now you can play your favorite buzzer games anytime. Just go to buzzertv.com and then select play. Have fun and let's play. Trap and happy Valentine's Day to you. We have a very special week for you with soap opera stars. The folks from General Hospital, even though they've done so well all during the week, yet to win any money, but they have lots of time to do that. $75 for the game from One Life to Live. Remember, it's the team that makes it to $1,000. that wins the game and goes on to play for a possible $10,000 for their charity. And because you're out in front, One Life to Live, that means that you have earned the right to choose the categories in every question in this round. And also, remember, this is Valentine's Day, so all the questions in this round deal with love and romance. And General Hospital is very excited about that so far. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so first two categories you must choose from love birds or valentines what will it be love birds or valentines love birds love birds, love birds. Love birds. Love birds. okay we'll leave valentines for general hospital now roy the first question goes to you and here it is what kind of a bird is a love bird is it a canary a parrot a dove or a pigeon what kind of a bird is a love bird? Now, if you give me the correct answer, it's worth $50 to your team. If one of your team members agrees with you and you're right, it's $100. If all three of you settle on the right answer, $200. So what kind of a bird is a love bird? Roy. I have to choose out of these four, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Uh -huh. Answer, please. Well, I associate it with dove. So your answer is, the answer is dove, all right. Shelly, he says, love birds a dove. Agree or disagree? I'm going to uh, disagree. You disagree. 
Michael, do you agree or disagree? He says that a lovebird I think, is a dove. No, I believe it is a dove. You think it's a yeah. dove? All right. The two of you say that a lovebird is a dove. If you're right, it's $100. Let's find out right now. For $100, for one life to live, is a lovebird a dove? No, it is not. Shelly, you disagreed, so you didn't pick up some money. You say it's a canary? A lovebird is a canary. $50 for one life to live. Audience seems to agree with you. Let's find out. How about, is the correct answer a canary? No. A lovebird is a parrot. Just a little trivia for you folks. <laughs> well, <laughs> but the hood of my love. car will vouch for the All fact right, that it's not a Let's go down to General <laughs> Hospital. And uh, they left you with Valentine's as your category. Stuart, yes. the question is yours. Okay. Here it is. According to research, what group of people receives the most Valentine's? Is it mothers, wives, teachers, girlfriends? What mothers. You, think, you say mothers. Yeah. Emma, you have a choice to make. Agree or disagree? He says mothers receive the most Valentine's. I'll agree. You agree with that? Everybody's got one, so I'm going to agree. Mothers. Brian says mothers. Everybody thinks mothers, right? Everybody's got hey, a mother. Hey, $200, if you're right, you'll take the lead in this game. What a come-from-behind team you've been so far. Zero. Let's find out. For $200, do mothers receive the most Valentines? No. It's the teachers. Oh, sure. You have 30 kids in your class. All 30 kids bring a Valentine. That's if you liked your teacher. Well, I like my teachers. Or you like your mother. Yeah. I never you don't get any money my teacher that time. Valentine. Love is not your subject. No. That's okay. Here Why we go again. Our One life to live. live. <laughs> <laughs> Casanova the lover or love verse? Which category you want this time? Casanova. 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 Leaving love verse then for General Hospital. All right. This time, Shelley, the question belongs to you. What did the world-renowned lover Casanova do for the last 13 years of his life? Uh. Did he live in a monastery? Got married for the first time, worked as a librarian, or taught Bible classes. He lived in a monastery. Lived in a monastery, the lady says with conviction. <laughs> Agree or disagree, Michael? Uh, yeah, yeah, I agree. You agree sure. with that. Roy, how do you feel about this one? I make it unanimous. You agree also. Yeah. Casanova in a monastery. $200 for your team. Take a commanding lead. If you're right, did Casanova wind up in a monastery? No. He worked as a librarian for the last 15 years of his life. <laughs> I thought he'd sleep a lot, but I guess not. We're stupid. Okay, here we go, General Hospital. Love versus the category. Emma, the question is for you. Where do we get the immortal lines, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all? Was it Shakespeare, Tennyson, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, or the Bible? Answer, please. Um, Tennyson. Tennyson, you say. Yeah. Brian, agree or disagree? I agree that it was You agree Tennyson. with that. Stuart, yeah. we all three agree. $200 if you're right. Let's find out. It's better to have loved and lost. Does it come from Tennyson? Yeah. It does. Well, there you have it. Yes. Alfred Lloyd Tennyson in 1842 in Memorum Poem. That's where the lines came from. And look at there. General Hospital has come alive. They've got $200. One life to live, $75. The goal is to get the $1,000. The way we do that is by playing our $1,000 trivia race. And we'll be right back for that.
Follow us on our social media platforms at Buzzer TV and let's play. Welcome back to Trivia Trap on our special Valentine week with our soap opera stars, General Hospital, One Life to Live. General Hospital has $200, One Life to Live is $75. The goal is to get to $1,000, and we do that by playing our $1,000 trivia race, and let's do that right now. Here we go. Now, we're going to play our race until one of our teams reaches $1,000. The winners will then get a shot at $10,000 for their charity. General Hospital out in front, that means they get to go first. Now, your team will have three chances to come up with the correct answer. If all three of you miss, control then goes over to the other side. And remember, each question is worth $100. And I will tell you this, Stuart, that the categories are marked on top. They are not limited Valentine's Day. This is a chance for the big money, so love now goes out the window, at least for this round, so anything goes. Pick a question for me. Mothers, weddings, and co-stars. 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 Here we go. The race is on. Robert De Niro and Meryl Streep star in the film Falling in Love. In what previous film did they appear together? Oh, uh -uh. in Pittsburgh. Don't know. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Brian. The Deer Hunter. The Deer Hunter is a correct answer. <laughs> Save your team. Uh -huh. Stuart. Mine again, huh? Um, weddings. Who did Tiny Tim marry on The Tonight Show in 1969? His mother. No. <laughs> <laughs> Emma. I have no idea. <laughs> Brian. Miss Vicky. Yes, it's Miss Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Brian knows all those important questions, you guys. Stuart. Uh, okay, song. You ready, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> The song, If Ever I Would Leave You, was introduced in what Broadway play? Uh, Camelot. Yes, it was Camelot. <laughs> Emma. Emma, pick a question, please. Mothers. Who is Larry Hagman's famous mother? Mary Martin. That's right, Mary Martin. Uh, You're not $600. Brian, a uh, worker. Here's your question. We all know that Lech Walesa headed Solidarity in Poland. What is his occupation? Uh, he's an auto worker. Incorrect. I'm sorry. Stuart. He's a, he's a shipyard worker. I'm sorry. Incorrect again. Emma, save your team. Uh, he's a miner. No. He's an electrician. You're frozen at $600. Let's go to One Life to Live. Cheers. Okay, Cheers. come on. Let's awesome. do some catching up now. Roy, pick a question. Mm, Senator. Senator? All right, here it is. What was Senator Gary Hart's last name before he changed it? Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> Hart. I don't know. Michael. Hartsman. No, incorrect. Also, heart pence. Heart pence. You're frozen at $75. Go back to General Hospital, Brian. I don't, I don't blame you if you walk now. <laughs> Brian, pick one. Okay. I'll take Fanny. I got a big one. Fanny. <laughs> In Funny Girl, what was the name of the man Fanny Bryce married? Uh, uh, Nikki. Is that enough? No, they want it all. Stuart? Um, I don't know. Don't know, Emma? I never even saw the movie. Oh, no. Nikki Arnstein, you're frozen at $600. Back to one life to live. Here we go, Roy. No, uh, no. Come on, Roy. Mm-hmm. Hurry, please. Mm, Judy. Judy. Here's your question. What was Judy Garland's last movie? Uh -uh. Whoa. Silly. Why? <laughs> Michael? I'll cry tomorrow. <laughs> you probably will. I could go on singing. <laughs> Frozen at 75, back to General Hospital. Brian. Um, uh, Magnum P.I. Magnum P.I. <laughs> In the TV series, what are Magnum's first and middle names? Uh, Tom Selleck. Incorrect. <laughs> Stuart. Uh, Thomas Joseph. Incorrect. I'm sorry, Emma. <laughs> no, no. Thomas I... Sullivan. Thomas Sullivan Magnum. You're frozen at $600. Back to one life to live. Roy. Yes. <laughs> Cartoon. Roy? Cartoon. Cartoon. All right. What cartoonist created the comic strips Terry and the Pirates and Steve Cannon? <laughs> <laughs> Shelly. Mike, bro, I don't know. Uh, Michael. Robert Walsh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Milt Caniff. <laughs> You're frozen at 75. Hey, that was our 10th question here after they're worth $200. Brian. All right, let's go oh, with Escort. We're, we're really escort. rolling now. Yeah. Here it is. For $200, what film star was once the constant escort of Linda Bird Johnson, and it was thought they would marry? Uh, uh, Robert Redford. <laughs> Incorrect. Stuart. Ford's son. No. Emma. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. <laughs> George Hamilton. You're frozen at 600. Back to one life to live. Roy. Come on, Roy. You can do it. Pick Elizabeth. Elizabeth. 
Here it is. After her recent weight loss, on what nighttime TV dramatic show did Elizabeth Taylor make a rare appearance? Hotel. Hotel. Yes. Hotel. <laughs> okay, Shelly. Yeah, whatever. Uh, fiction. Fiction. Come on now, One Life to Live. What fictional character had the married names of Hamilton, Kennedy, and Butler? Part. Uh, Rick. <laughs> Michael. R Rep Butler? No, incorrect. I don't understand Roy. the What's question. <laughs> what fictional character had married names of Hamilton, Kennedy, and Butler? Roy, I'll give you a shot at it. No idea. Don't know? Scarlett O'Hara. Scarlett O'Hara. Well, You're frozen yeah. at 275. Let's go back to General Hospital Brian. I am really rolling. How about hit songs? Hit songs for $200. Here it is. What singer had a 1957 hit with Love Letters in the Sand? Pat Boone. Right you are. Pat Boone. I'm, I'm Sir. Um, best sellers. Best sellers for the game and a chance to play for $10,000 for your charities. Who wrote the best selling novel, Hollywood Wives? Jackie Collins. Yes. Jackie Collins! Yes. <laughs> if there was a hard question over there, you knew where to find it. 275 again. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Champions, in a moment they'll play for ten thousand dollars. We'll be right back for that. Bob Eubanks, you're watching Trivia Trap on Buzzer. Let's play. Welcome back to Trivia Trap. General Hospital, our champions again. <laughs> and what a game we've had. All right, time to play for the $10,000 pot of gold. Congratulations to you, General Hospital. Up until now, you've played as partners. Now you're on your own. Each of you will be trying to win money for your favorite charity. And speaking of favorite charities, very quickly, Brian, your charity is? Find the Children. Find the Children. Stuart? Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. Wonderful. Emma? The Starlight Foundation. Starlight Foundation. Okay, your positions have been determined by how well each of you did in our trivia race. Brian, you did best. That means you have first option to play your pass. And once again, in honor of Valentine's Day, all the questions deal with love or romance, or both. So let's look at our first set of answers right now. And Brian, you're going to tell me whether you want to play or pass. Here we are. California, South Carolina, Nevada, Alaska. Going back to Tuesday when I did so well, I'm passing. Passing those to Stuart. Stuart, I'm what do you want to do? Passing as well. Passing them to Emma. Emma, it's yours. Question belongs to you. If you get it right, $1,000 for your charity and a chance to play for the big money. Here is the question. Which state per capita has the highest number of marriages? Which state per capita has the highest number of marriages? Emma? South Carolina. South Carolina. Audience seems to like it. We'll find out. For $1,000 is the correct answer, South Carolina. Now, 
It's the state of Nevada. Can you believe that? I figured that if they didn't live there, then it doesn't count as per capita. I, well, People Nevada has 131 marriages yeah. per 1,000. The next highest is South Carolina. They were second, 17 per 1,000. Okay, stay right there and root your, root your team members on because let's go to our next level of the ladder now. And Brian, take a look at these and see if you want these or not. Concessional, recessional, and sessional, the walk of union. What do you think? <laughs> I can't pass. imagine what you're going to do, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Stewie, you're my big friend, and you got it. Okay, they belong to Stuart. Stuart, here's the question. When a bridal party goes down the aisle, it's called a processional. What is it called when the party goes back down the aisle after the ceremony? Recessional. Recessional, you say. For $1,000 for Stuart and his charity, is it recessional? Yes! <laughs> The man knows a lot about a lot of things, I'll tell you. Congratulations to you. You'll be playing for $10,000. let us go to the next level now, Brian. Here comes your answers. There they are. Adonis, Orpheus, Psyche, Eros. The question. Cupid, the Roman god of love, has a counterpart in Greek mythology. What is his name? Eros. Eros. For Brian and his charity, is it Eros? Yeah! Brian and Stuart, here we go again. To the top of the ladder, there's a pot of gold of $10,000 for your charities. The answers, Marilyn Monroe, Judy Garland, Billie Jean King, Jane Mansfield. The question, Elton John's song, Candle in the Wind, is a tribute to which one of these women? If you would, please raise the cover in front of you and lock in your answers. Locked in, Brian, what'd you say? Marilyn Monroe. Stuart, what'd you say? Marilyn Monroe. Two of you said Marilyn Monroe. You're right. She agrees with you. Let's find out. For $10,000, is it Marilyn Monroe? Yeah! Ah, you're wonderful. Again, time after time. Another $10,000 to your total. We'll be right back with news about tomorrow. to live back again tomorrow. See you then on Trivia Time. Bye-bye. Join us tomorrow for more of our Valentine's Soap Opera Week. This is Bob Hilton speaking for our Trivia Trap. I'm Mark Goodson. Tell us. $32,000 on the turn of a car on 
card sharks. And if you play your cards right, you can win this beautiful.